Okay, I've just come up the bridle path. This place is so different. In just a month's time, this take two months' time. This is usually massively full of wildflowers. Dandelions, masses of them. Usually, not this time of year, no. And a little bit of blue sky today. Further over there, we'll be able to see Steep Home and Brent Knoll, Green Down. There's Steep Home in the far distance there, look. A boat further out. Right out there is a ship of some sort. There's Steep Home, and then we come over. There's the backbone of Brain Down. There'll be a few people out on that today. Because it's not windy, it's not wet. I've normally always had this place to myself. I just passed about four adults and ten kids. Um, I kept out of the way, of course. So... There's been a lot of horses here. I've never noticed this so much. A lot of horses. I mean, things change. Even in a year, they might have opened it up more for horses. I mean, I'm, I, I do hope the dandelions and all the other wildflowers will come out ago, come out again. You know, um, in the spring, because this is absolutely amusing, amazing. And buttercups. I have got some massively brilliant photos here. I've had the camera down low taking pictures up high at a distance with brilliant cotton wool clouds, blue sky and lovely warm weather on your on your on your back. Yeah I've had, I've had some really good walks. I don't go over there very often but I have done. There's a trick point over there. I tend to be with cows uh, I don't think it's totally accessible. It's unclear that way. But look, is this... Ah! Now this is interesting. They've had cows in this field. This sort of area all churned up like this. This is cows. Now I've never known that. Yeah, they've had cows up here. Look, cow pack. Wow, that's new. It's a while back. It is a while back. Though it's a lot of hooves or horse hooves as well. But cat cow hooves. Yeah, patches like that you associate with cows. And big pack cow packs like this, yeah. Wonder what they've done with them. Zooming out to sea again, where that big liner that I've captured on a photo earlier is gone further out now. He's left Bristol or, or Wells, he's left somewhere and uh, he's making his way out. There's another ship there. There's a great big chimney over at Port Tolbert there. Steep home again. Several big ships further out at uh, in the channel there. And another view higher up of Brain Down. It is a good place actually to view Western Hill Fort as well. Actually, I might st take some pictures from here of the Hill Fort in a minute. Um, my town, I live down that way somewhere. Not far from, a bit further along. Yeah, I live. See that red brick building? I live closer there. Not far from there I live, that's where I live. And then um you got the pier. And you've got the woods. And you should start seeing some thinning. There we are. That's where they're starting to thin the woods to expose the hill fort more. But it's a big wood and I think they've got enough to do just they're gonna do that little patch to be quite honest. I need to take some pictures of the hill fort from here. So I'm just going to, uh, yeah, I could have come in through there. I could have come in through there. 
Yeah, over across that field, there's, there's not, according to nature reserve, there's a gate just beyond that water thing feature there. And I could have come through a gate on the other side of that, through a field, and come through into here, I think. I don't know, I might not have been able to, but some, yeah, there might be a gate the other side of that. Yes, there's a gate the other side of that. And I could have come into the field that way, but... I, I haven't done that ever before, but it is a quick way down. It saves you going down there and all round that bit. Of course, right over there in the distance we've got, which won't come out very well, we've got um, the coastal path, which I did last year, of course. And beyond that bit that you can see there, I've done beyond that. But it won't come out very clear today. Right, time to take some photos, I think. Over and out for a minute. Right then, here we are at this lovely point. We've got beautiful pictures of the sky here, and I reckon this would be a brilliant place to come at night to see the stars. I really do think it would be great up here. <sighs> Maybe some people do. Lovely big hill there. Lovely views over the Bristol Channel, over to Rawberry Woods. The Welsh Hills, Somerset, and what I used to call Sheila's Garden, because I used to have a bench in there for the table, and you could sit and have a picnic. And if I zoom in, you'll see the trick point that I have been to before now. Yeah, there it is. And there used to be a pathway there, but I got a feeling they discontinued it. But usually you get a lot of cows in here. And they probably will be back. The grass is growing nicely. But for the first time ever that I've known, that I've been walking here, I've never seen it churned up like this and on the top with lots of hay and stuff where they've had cows and horses up here. But look at that lovely sky. Not fluffy white clouds, but still, still very beautiful. Yes, two people just passed. We didn't speak, but I wasn't close to them. And here's this lovely walk that I love. This is, this is something about being alive and in England when you're in places like this. And you walk down in the, in the distance of the hill there at Brent Knoll. You know, this I have videoed this a few times because that's a private wood. But it's just something so beautiful about this spot. You know, I could take myself off to sleep easy just thinking of this lovely place. And there has been stuff going on in here as well. And it will be, so it's probably might be a good idea that I've done it early. I'm sure we used to walk that side. I'm sure they've moved the, the fence posts. Um, yeah, I expect they'll be back, but Something's been here, and I didn't reckon that long ago. But uh, I'm not sure, really. It looks more like horses than anything. Horse hooves. Lots of horses. And they, they might be down the bottom, who knows? I've never known it before. Not horses in there. And normally, if there'd been cows, they've been up there. And I've been able to say they've been sat on that hill. I've been able to sneak past, and they haven't bothered me. But I, I just something so magical about this hill. I love. I saw something in the field there. It could be a deer. Sometimes a deer will sit in the middle of a field, you know. It's not, it's a bush. There's Brent Knoll. A lot more development around Brent Knoll than, than before. Warehouse place, I spat. I have, of course, like I said, walked all the way up there. I've even gone in that wood, but it's dodgy going into private woods, even if it was an accident, because of dogs. That is a private wood. But I do love this walk. And I just... I just love this scene. Here. 
I don't know, there's something magical. Something about my child in me that I love when I'm in these sort of areas as well. And it's so refreshing for the spirit when I come here. Um, and I'm glad the sun's come out. I'm glad the sun's come out to greet me. I really love this place. And I wanted to come here. I wanted to do this route. I don't always do it. It's a long hike back. If you've done a, already done a big walk. So say I've walked from Winscombe up Crooks Peak through Loxton all the way along the Mendit Way. And you get here. It, it can be um, a lot to do as well. But it's easier going down. I mean, last year in March, March, it was the day before the first lockdown on the 23rd of March. I came and did a massive walk. I walked from Weston along the to Bleeden to, along the Axbridge River. I came up from down there, over that way, through Hutton Wood, and then walked back over Hutton Moor, past Asda Supermarket, and back to where I live in town. That was a massive walk, but I wanted to do it because I, we nobody knew then about the lockdown. Nobody knew what was what it really meant, how restricted we would be. It was all some people coming now. Oh, someone on a horse. Maybe they're using this more for horses now than they used to. Could be a policeman. You don't know these days. They get out everywhere. Oh, somebody sat down. Yeah, you might do, because we could get police patrolling out here, see. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute.